Uh, someone's asking, uh, what do phenolic spacers for intake manifolds do? So uh, when you have an intake manifold, which is made from aluminum, uh, even a plastic manifold to some degree, um, when it's bolted to the head and there's just a thin gasket uh, separating it from the head. If even, some of them are O-ring sealed and it's literally right. aluminum to yes, aluminum. Right. So those, you get, you get a very direct conduction of heat from the heat source, which is the cylinder head, into the intake manifold. And then what happens is as the intake manifold heats up, it radiates heat into the intake uh, uh, charge and that heat goes into your motor. So regardless of having a big, badass, awesome intercooler, uh, that cool air goes, hits the intake manifold and it heats up. So what a phenolic does is uh, typically they're uh, six to 10 millimeters in thickness, the ones we make. And uh, they're made from a phenolic material, which is like a, a resin impregnated um, phenolic material. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a combination of like a fiberglass and a plastic material. It's right. it's a very high temperature thermoplastic essentially yeah. with, with a fiber backing. Well, what's fiber so, imp impregnation. What's, what's so great about it, uh, in addition to its strength and dimensional stability, is it's a terrible conductor of heat or electricity. So it's a very good insulator. Yep. So by installing this thick spacer that does not uh, conduct heat in between the intake manifold, intake manifold and the cylinder head, then you keep that heat from going into the intake manifold. Yep. It's it's a nice thing to do. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna transform your car. I mean, these these are like fifty to a hundred dollars. Um, yeah, yeah. It makes it's a lot of, of sense these... to do it. There's no really no reason not to. Yeah, it's one of these incremental things where yeah. where it's kind of you know you've done everything else and this is yeah. you know the next step. So we've sold many, many thousands of them. It's it's a nice little product. Yeah. You can also use them if you're doing port matching. And yeah. We have transition ones. Beware of snake oil. You won't see one from us that, that goes between a plastic intake manifold for a number of reasons. I have seen them out there. Um, yeah, the plastic ones, certainly, you're just adding more plastic. Yeah, there's, right? you're, um, the plastic's such a poor conductor compared to aluminum. Yeah. You're literally, yeah, you're literally adding a little more plastic to your plastic. Yeah, so... so um, I mean, I, actually, I, I think our R32 one uh, is plastic. That one is because we had the the aluminum um, yeah, manifold to go with it, and then also there were some injector yeah. clearance things that it got. I just to. want so to there, clarify. There, there are a couple of reasons. The R6 one the is, is for, you know, the reason we came up with it is for using it with an aluminum yeah. aftermarket intake. But Nate's right. There's, there's really not a big benefit to doing it with a plastic uh, intake manifold. Nope. So, um, yeah, so good, good products. Definitely recommended. And... Um, yeah, th so that's the idea, to keep yep. the heat. And, and you'll be able to measure the heat. So, you know, run your engine for 20 minutes, check the intake manifold temperature. You know, if you can replicate similar conditions, then put the phenolic on, you will see a substantial drop in temperature. So, yep. 